Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sapna Dadwal. I'm working as a professor in the Department of Management at St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. This is Lecture 7 of Consumer Protection of Unit 2. Uh, this subject is taught in BBA, 6th semester of MG Curriculum. The topic I'm going to cover in this uh, lecture are Power and Rights of District Forum, Procedure of Grievance Redressal, relief granted by quasi-judicial bodies, then administrative mechanism of consumer protection. Now, I'm starting with the first topic, that is power and rights of district forum. In the last lecture, in the lecture number six, uh, uh, I've already discussed with you the quasi-judicial mechanism of the consumer protection, that is, under quasi-judicial mechanism, there are three tire systems, the under CPA Act 19, Consumer Protection Act 1986, there is a three tire mechanism for, uh, for protecting consumers from traders and unfair trade practices. First is uh, establishment of district forum, then second is state commissions, then third is national commission and all these um, uh, mechanism they have their own uh, responsibilities and duties they are they have their own jurisdiction areas they have their own team or members they have their own um, procedures like district forum in district forum district forum can uh, can uh, can hear claims up to the value of goods or composition uh, of 20 lakh rupees and state government from 20 to 1 crore and above 1 crore all the complaints will be here by National Commission and every <laughs> these judicial bodies they have their own rights and powers so here I'm discussing power and rights of district forum so for the purpose of hearing and redressal of consumer disputes district forum shall have same powers as vested in civil court under the code of civil procedures while trying a suit on respect of following matters the first is right to call witness under the process of grievance redressal district forums enjoy the right to summon and enforce the attendance of any defendant or witness so they, they have the right to examine or a right to call witness, right to summon witness as, as the civil court can summon witness or examine witnesses. Now second right which is given to the district uh, forum is right to discovery and production of evidence or document. So every district forum has the right to recovery and production of any document or other material object produ productable as evidence so he they have right they have right they can they can um, ask for the dis for the production of evidence and documents from any authority and from any person then third is right to receive evidence on affidavits so every district forum has right to receive evidence on the affidavit by issuing affidavit they can have all the evid all the evidences or required to required to uh, hear the cases or the, the all the evidences which are related to the complaints then right to examine witness so district forum has right to examine the witness and it can summon the witness for the examination as well so right to requisition of test report every district forum has right to requisition the re requisition of the report of the concern analyst or test from appropriate laboratory so district forum can require report from the concern analyst can ask or can require or can ask and can can also um, ask from appropriate laboratory also to send the report to them which is concerned with their complaint then power in other prescribed matters every district forum will have the same power in 
other prescribed matters as are vested in the civil court so district forum ha has all the powers which are vested in the civil court then judicial powers every proceeding before the proceeding written the meaning of such that is 190 to 228 so ipc and civil court for the purpose of section 195 so every every district forum has judicial powers as as written in uh, as written in or prescribed in section 193 and 228 now right in case of complaint in complainants having common interest so if the complainants have common interest and collectively or any one consumer on their behalf or some of the consumers present the complaint then the district forum can give its award on sell on all such matters by fixed date so it is very clear that if the complainants are very large and but they have common interest then one complainant or few consume few complainants can make the complaint or file the case for all the complainants and district forum can give its award on all such matters by the fixed date then right to requisition of books documents account if the district forum deemed it proper then it demands any book document accounts or the di direct any person to present them before the district forum so right to get information district forum can obtain relevant information from any person it has the right to get information from any person it can demand information from any person which is related to the matters which is related to the complaints now right to search and seize document yes district forum has right to search the document and seize those documents which are related to the complaints and they can they will return these documents to the concern after the hearing of that matter now the next topic is procedures of redressal grievance redressal redressals so section 13 of the consumer protection act describes the following procedures of grievance redressal the first is a copy of complaint is forwarded to the opposite party mentioning the complaint directly to opposite party so that they can give reply of that particular complaint within 30 days district forum may extend this period not exceeding but not exceeding 15 days then second is if the opposite party omits or fail to represent the case within the time that is 30 days or as the time given by the forum the district forum can settle the case third is if the complaint is related to defective goods which can which cannot be determined without proper analysis or test of goods then district forum shall obtain samples from the company and sample properly sealed as per the procedure fixed uh, in the forum then these sealed sample will be sent to appropriate laboratory for the testing then the laboratory or analyst have to send these samples with the report to district forum within 45 days within 45 days if the goods are to be tested or complainant is required to deposit then the complainant is required to deposit specific fee to the credit of the forum for payment to appropriate laboratory for carrying out the necessary test so if the district forum is satisfied that the goods complained against suffers from any defects specified in the complaint it shall issue an order to the opposite party directing to do one or more of the following things it can say it can direct the opposite party to remove the defects pointed out by the appropriate laboratory it can direct the opposite party to replace the goods with new goods of 
similar description which shall be free from any defects so it can direct the opposite party to return to the complaint and the complaint in the price paid by him then it can direct the opposite party to pay such amount as determined by the forum as compensation to the consumer for any loss or injury suffered by the consumer from such defective goods it can direct the opposite party to remove defects in the goods and services and it can direct the opposite party to discontinue the unfair trade practices or res restrictive trade practices or not to repeat these trade practices in future it can direct to withdraw all the hazardous goods from the market it can direct to provide for adequate cost to the parties who have suffered because of these defect goods the now main sixth pa uh, point is proceedings of the district forum will be conducted by the president of the forum and at least one of the members must be present in these proceedings so every order made by the district forums shall be signed by its president and the members who have conducted the proceedings or who were present in these proceedings it should be signed by these members also now the next topic is relief granted by quasi judicial bodies the redis the redressal forum constituted under consumer protection act if satisfied after hearing both parties that there is defect in the goods or deficiency in the services they can issue order to do one of the more of the following to remove the defect from the goods and deficiency in service to replace goods with the new goods of similar description to refund the price paid by the complainant to pay compensation to discontinue the unfair trade practice not to offer hazardous goods to the public or withdraw all the goods from the market withdraw all such goods from the market or to direct the person to correct the advertisement if he is responsible for misleading advertisement then that person has to correct that advertisement to provide adequate cost to the people who have suffered because of the uh, this party or because of uh, um, hazardous goods or because of defect in the goods or because of misleading advertisement now the second mechanism is administrative mechanism as we have already discussed the first mechanism was quasi judicial mechanism under quasi there there were three tier systems were there district forums state commission and national commissions second mechanism is administrative mechanism for the protection of the consumers so there are several department in the government who work for the protection of consumers as required by the law indian parliament has enacted various laws for consumer protection and the implementation of such laws is vested in various government departments department of consumer affair is one of such department of government of india which plays a vital role in consumer protection so there are more than 30 legislations or acts related to consumer protection and the related department implement the provision of these legislations i have discussed few of these departments the first is department of drug administration so under the ministry of health and family welfare both at center and state level a drug administration work for implementation of various drug laws enacted to protect the public interest so the drug the department of drug administration actually implement the provision of the drug laws various drug laws in the country 
now the second is department of preventive medicine so ministry of health the ministry of health and family welfare both at center and state level are assisted with the task of implementation of prevention of food Adulter adulteration act so due to pre due to <coughs> prevalence of large scale found adulteration due to the scarcity of essential the government of india <coughs> has brought this legislation to save consumer from all ill effects of food adulteration so the government of india bought this legislation to save consumer from ill effect of food adulteration and the department of Pre preventive medicine actually implement the provisions of these laws which are related to adulteration of food or which which are related to health and family welfare of people of india now third is directorate of marketing inspection so the prime concern of government is not only to prevent food adulteration but also to ensure quality food to consumers so the directorate of marketing inspection implement the provisions of the all the acts like the agriculture produce act which is responsible for grading and marketing for the for the interest of the public it's for the uh, for the intra for the protection of consumer so it implement all the provisions like issuing egg mark certificates or grading etc then department of consumer affairs civil supplies and public distribution in central government as well as in state government would work to greater extent for the protection of consumer so implementation of essential commodities act prevention of black marketing and maintenance of supply of essential commodities act and consumer protection act is placed in these departments so these departments are responsible to implement the provisions of these act now bureau of indian standard bureau of indian standard act was passed to replace indian institution that is certification marks act so bureau of indian standard implement the provision of this act the responsibility of this bureau is standardization of the products marking and quality cert quality certification of the goods now the next department is monopolies and restrictive trade practice commission <coughs> <coughs> these commissions are responsible to implement the provisions of monopolies and restrictive trade practices in the country now the next one is pollution control boards for the control of pollution in air water and environment the different boards has been set up by the government of india as per the legislation of the water act the air act and the environment act to implement the provision of these act so this is the responsibility of the pollution control bo control board to implement all the provisions of these acts in the interest of the public of india now the next one is department of legal metrology the standards of weight and measures act is intended to provide uniform standards for the weighing for weighing and measuring commodities to protect consumer interest so department of legal legal metrology is responsible for for is uh, for uh, for give for uh, for providing uniformity in weighing and in measuring commodities so that consumer interest interest can be protected in india now these are the related questions which are related to the above topics discussed in this uh, lecture if there is any query please you can contact me if there is any uh, mistake please ignore that mistake thank you thank you so much